Gorgeous. <laughs> You're gonna get lipstick all over your I face. I won't care. <laughs> oh, we should practice our spins. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, oh, I can't go left. <laughs> you were absolutely incredible. Elizabeth, I stand here before you today and offer you the only meaningful thing one person can offer to another, themselves. Honestly, us even standing here today feels like both an unexpected plot twist, but really an ending that the entire audience saw in the very first scene. Who would have thought that the girl that wouldn't stop staring at my white sweater who I was stupid enough to play hard to get with, and who I swore I would never follow out of town, would be the person that I'm utterly hopeless without. Three years ago, I took one of the biggest leaps of faith in my life, following you to Nashville without knowing where any of this was leading. It was one of the scariest decisions I've ever made, but I knew that I just had to be with you and that our love was worth chasing. No, it turns out it was the best decision I ever made because it led us to being right here today. And had I known then what I know now, I would have followed you to the moon had you asked me to. Shortly after my mom met you, um, she told me that they brought me here from Albania in hopes of finding a girl like you. And I tell you that often, but um, as I think back upon that statement, I'm not sure even she could have dreamt up what I found in you. In you, I found someone that makes me want to wake up every day and be a better person. In you, I found compassion, I found caring, I found my confidant, my muse, and my biggest supporter. In you, I found my heart, my soul, and my purpose. As we embark on this journey together, I promise to laugh with you uncontrollably during the good times, to care for you, and to hold you during the bad times, like when Frank dies. <laughs> Elizabeth Sean, you are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. So in short, from now until my last breath, I promise you me, all of me. Sentin, we are so incredibly lucky to be standing in front of all of our favorite people today, vowing our love to each other. I knew from the moment you brought me soup and Frank the cat to visit me at work during my first month of residency that you would make the most incredible husband and father. You challenge, yet support me. And most importantly, you never ever let me forget that we are forever on the same team. You have taught me to be a more giving friend, physician, daughter, sister, and now wife. As your wife, I vow to support you, honor you, and forever love you. I vow to choose you each and every day. I vow to act with patience and kindness. We have done moves, residency, pet parenting, and endless adventures together, but this will all pale in comparison to being your wife. I'm so excited to be your wife and officially family. I love you.
Senton, are you ready to kiss your bride? Bet your ass. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> it is my great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Senton, you may now kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Poyani. Senton, you have found your perfect match with Elizabeth. She is loving, kind, understanding, and considerate, not to mention beautiful and bright, if I may say so myself. May you both continue to laugh and share each other's humor and intelligence. Mazel tov. It's very easy to see why you get along. You, you both have great senses of humor. You play really well off of each other. Cheers to a team that I think is going to do very special things in the future and is going to get everything out of life that they want, especially now because they have each other. Cheers.